Linebacker. <laughs> He's 6'2", 215, so <laughs> Darnell Bing? <laughs> All right, so back to my point about Clemson defensive line. Can you imagine being an offensive line for, I don't know, Florida State or Especially know, Florida Louisville State. or whatever? And just Wake get, Forest. Just getting that scouting report and being like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Highly explosive, all-American, super strong, uh, quick-footed, quick get-off. They think with one brain. <laughs> like, Damn. And it's and like all four across the board. Redshirt like, senior already got their degree. And then they're they got just here to fuck you up. And then they got four freshmen coming in that are my star recruits too. They're like, all number one <laughs> defensive ends in the country, just waiting to get their chance. <laughs> like damn. They're like, oh, after they're done kicking the shit out of you, this freshman that runs a four five nine, <laughs> who's probably going to be the next Davian Clowney. He's not even going to play uh, defensive end in the NFL. He's going to play linebacker. He's going to kick the shit out of you. And you probably won't get drafted because of that Clemson tape. All Dexter right. Lawrence, Christian Wilkins, Colin Farrell, and I forget the other guy's name. All right, man. So since we didn't get to do it last week, let, let's do a, a quick round of um. Let, let's do take let's do um take or tangent first. All right, so I got one. Um, my boy, the goat. Michael Vick, he made a cameo on um, Atlanta this yes. week. Um, he was actually playing himself, racing people in the parking lot outside the club. So, KB, give me a take or give me a tangent about Michael Vick appearing in Atlanta. That's that's more hood than Migos being on Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> like, let me explain something to you. Oh, he's going on a tangent. Listen up. Athletes are just better athletes than you even after they stop playing. Guess what? Randy Moss will still run some of you some of you cats. <laughs> almost almost said <angry. laughs> Um Dante Hall will still juke stick you so hard that you will probably shatter an ankle. You'll tear a ligament in your leg. You might get one of his own at the same time, but that's besides the doesn't, point. Doesn't matter. He'll still keep running. He'll be out of four. Deion Sanders could probably still run. Even By the way, we can get to that in a minute. But, like, Yaman Figures ran a 4-3. Michael Bush, I mean, he'll probably beat the hell out of you if you try to press him, even though he was a 4-9 That's now. so random. <laughs> Michael like, Bush. You just, just named a bunch of goats, and then you threw, Marcus, Mike, you threw Michael, Michael Bush, Bush in there. Like, some of these quarterbacks who sucked in the NFL, if they hit you with a football from 10 feet away, it might kill you. Uh, they didn't forget how to do what they were good at most of their lives. So some of y'all. So would you race you Michael? Might, if he gave you a a 30-yard head start. I'm not. In, I, he could give me a 30-block head start. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm, what if he's backpedaling? I'm not doing it. That's even worse. What if he's karaoke that's even worse because <laughs> he might actually take off by accident. <laughs> and, like you just see his form in slow motion, and it's perfect. And I'm like, dog, Mike Vick's still running four five two. Y'all need to stop playing with that man. He's still at a ninety speed rating on Madden. Don't insult me like now. Nah, Colin Kaepernick is still fast. Don't get it twisted. He can still throw a football hard. Uh, Ray Lewis is still probably strong. Shannon Sharp. A lot of these cats, like you, don't want that. Like I wouldn't run a outrun i wouldn't want to race anthony adams despite right. uh, the, the famous the dude who got famous for being really funny uh and he was like a former bears d tackle and he went to penn state and was the first round pick but yeah like i'm spice no spice adams spice they call him spice adams but wait 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 he played in the league anthony big biggums yeah damn i didn't the know glasses that. and he always has those national yeah the dude who, the dude who got voted for the all-star game <laughs> When he had those all-star the big ass goggles, yeah, yeah that shit that's was so him. Funny. He played in the, he played for the Bears. I'm now I'm and got cut by the Niners. All right, K- KB. So, um, bottom line you- is stop ra- stop thinking like Bo Jackson still probably is about that action, and I don't want I don't want that. I know I'm not getting embarrassed by Michael Vick. So you want to give me one with uh, the Dion one that you had? Okay, so Deion Sanders was saying that Tyrone Matthew is the best safety in the league, and then bar none, and then Kevin Byard, all pro free safety for the Tennessee Titans. He had eight, he led the league with eight picks this year, had like 87 tackles. And then Harrison Smith, the greatest white safety since uh, Jason Seahorn, um, had uh, 
he was an all-pro too this year, and both of those guys are first-team all-pro or just all-pros. And he pretty much, Deion Sanders called him a fan and said, you don't know what you're talking about. And uh, you go with what the writers say are the best players. I go with what current players and past players tell me about who the best is. And then he said, bro, you don't know that I'm a current NFL player? He pretty much didn't know that Kevin <laughs> Byron existed. <laughs> so, knowing all that. I'm going to give you a take on it. And here was what it is. Um, Deion Sanders I'm, finally going to get exposed. I'm pretty sure Deion Sanders and most of these NFL cats are right in the wave of what they did back in the day. But, like, yeah, you can break down tape and, yeah, you can play. But that doesn't always necessarily mean you can analyze. And there's nothing wrong, especially being a media member, there's nothing wrong with admitting that you're wrong or that you had an oversight or that you missed someone or that – you that just think completely miss. different. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, bros, don't back down from it. Like, He didn't, but he, he doubled down. The other thing is <laughs> Matthew lines up in the slot most of the time. He's actually more a corner than he is safety these days, especially yeah. because the Cardinals have, like, five safeties. Like, the Cardinals Deion had, Buchanan. Deion Buchanan was a safety in college, FYI. He's a middle linebacker now. They had Branch. They had um, Buda Baker. They had um, – well, Tony Jefferson before Buda Baker. They had um K Rhodes at one point. Yeah. That was way back in the day. But this yeah, dude no. ran a four five and he's a five foot nine corner who plays safety. And they just move him around. Yeah. All right. My next one is I got about two more. Michael Bennett, he appeared on the uh Bill Simmons podcast and they basically kinda asked him about kind of what the fallout was in Seattle and stuff like that. And he kind of just said, you know, they're moving in a new direction. But what he, what his main point and what the, the clickbait quote was is he said that you can't have a team full of Russell Wilsons and win a Super Bowl. You need three or four Marshawn Lynch's. Facts. Which would be him, Marshawn Lynch, and Richard Sherman, which all three are gone, so... Pretty much tells you about the C- C- Seattle Seahawks culture upcoming. And here's my take on it. Basically, he's right. I mean, football is a highly emotional game. You need people who are both outspoken, but at the same time, controlled chaos. is like, yeah, they talk a lot on the field, and yeah, they're high-energy players, and yeah, they get in other people's head, but they bring it, and they compete, and they roll with the punches, and win or lose – They leave it all on the floor, on the court, on the field, on the whatever. Diamond. Diamond. The squared circle. Hey, man, I had to take take a shout out to baseball once in a while. I think you hate baseball more than you hate soccer. Low key. (laughs) You were the frat guy who when baseball players showed up at the party, you're like, hey, these motherfuckers go. Someone's I mean, gonna break pretty, some glass. That's Someone's much, gonna. That's pretty much any dude who's in a fraternity when you athletes hate baseball show up at players. The parties. Baseball players show. I mean, up athletes and take show up and just take everyone's, everyone's alcohol girl. and girls anyway. So, especially baseball players, though. All right, you said you had another one. So, hmm, Dominican Sue. Uh, is this going to be one of those open-ended ones where you don't really know and you just kind of make it up as you go? No, it's not. It's actually going to be good. <laughs> All right. Let's this see. is my rollout. So, Bruce Irvin was pretty much said along the lines on Twitter. He's like, man, you knew you wasn't coming. You ain't got to, like, play us like that, though. You ain't got to use us to get more money. But if you realistically think about it, why Oakland wasn't a good fit, what other defensive tackles are playing next to in Dominican Sioux? Nobody. When has Ndamukong Sue had, like, a, a all-pro level D-tackle play next to him? So, my here's my take or tangent. What really is the best fit for Ndamukong Sue? The Titans or the Rams? I'm going to give you a tangent on this and probably say that Maybe Sue should just retire. What? Wow. Okay, see, this is where you hit the, uh, you know, the machine. No, that deserved an audience. What? 
Ooh. Yeah, finally. finally <laughs> I got to boo myself? You deserve several Ooh. boos for post, for pre-show conversations, and right now. My whole thing with Sue is, man, if you're already in every team coming at you with bags of money, offering you chances to win, like, what else do you need to get motivated? And you've already earned a lot of money. You've already made a name for yourself. Like, you're still relatively healthy. You're still relatively healthy. Walk away from the game. There's no sh- there's no shame in that. There's nothing wrong with that. What if he doesn't want to? What if he's a mercenary? What if he actually wants to win at this stage? Do you really think Tennessee's going to win? And anything? my second tangent is Nadamika Sue will probably be the highest pay, like, not trash. Non Hall of Famer. That's fair. What? Because he's gotten paid, bro. Like he was in the era of like getting paid, of getting paid for. He as got a rookie. paid more than Jeremy. And he got the highest paid defensive contract. And he just got cashed out by Miami by getting bought out. And he's probably going to no tax, no state taxes in Miami. Ten fifteen million in cash just to play this year. So he's pretty well off. Like. But he could chase a Super Bowl, which obviously he's already said he doesn't care. So he would just wants to make money. So the Rams would be the best option, don't you think? Over yeah, the Titans, except for is we ain't he, gonna win is, anything. Is he gonna play nose tackle? Like, is that no? What he you're plays doing? defensive end. But they're saying he's gonna play nose tackle. He's gonna play one technique nose tackle. That's stupid. And then they're gonna have Brockers and he's Donald at the five technique. You're at a faster time than Brockers. I'm going to double check, but I'm pretty sure he ran a faster 40 time than Brockers. And he's stronger than Brockers. Uh, and he doesn't want to get double teamed. Like, why? It goes back to your point. Why do teams go. Why do D tackles, and you know just the grind on your body, why do you. I would rather play with Aaron Donald than Jarrell Casey and whoever the hell else they have. And Daquan Jones and Brian Arakpo, who hasn't had 10 sacks in I don't know how long. All right. I think he had 10 sacks like two years ago. Yeah. I think he had eight sacks in 2016. Okay. Aren't you a three for outside linebacker? He Everybody was like, oh, look, he does boxing. I mean, he got hurt. Okay. But he wasn't hurt for a minute in Tennessee. All right. He hasn't really done much. And he lost Avery Williamson to the Jets. Okay. So um, let's move on to um, touchdown or turnover real quick. The Carolina Panthers are being slated as the most expensive professional football team sale ever. They put the team at two point five million. It's already gotten that. But um what we all wanted, champions for diversity wanted. Diddy and Curry are out on that deal. So is that a touchdown or is that a turnover? Man, it was never going to let niggas on a, a NFL team. Can we just be honest? They were never going to let black people on a football team. They were going to find a way to make it so exponentially high to where I just want to know black wh- entertainers couldn't afford it. I just want to know where Ronnie Lott and um, Rodney Pete in that group is. Don't talk about Rodney Pete. But I'm saying that that was the group. He's that not was, relevant right now. No, but I'm saying that group was trying to get together and buy. The I'm, Raiders Stadium and whatever they were going to do. And they Where's have, Magic Johnson's group? Magic Johnson is cashed out with the Dodgers and the and Lakers right now. And the Sparks and L.A. Football Club. Yeah. He's so kind of, why con- not? Why I not? I mean, conflict of club? interest. I mean, he's already on, across all those. No, there's plenty of owners that own teams in multiple No, but states. like if you own a team in L.A. and then you're trying to get another team in Texas – um, that might be Cronky kind of owns a Colorado teams and um, the Rams. Wait, he owns the Broncos. No, he owns the um, I think the Avalanche, and he AFL or Arena Football League. Down no, the NHL, and he might. That's two different sports, though. You said he had LA tie. You said Magic had LA ties to the LA football clubs, and then you want LA to get- football club, the soccer team. Oh, I was like, what the hell? Yeah. Take a lot, bro. That's two. I was like, he doesn't have he doesn't have any ties with the Chargers or the Rams. LA Football Club is actually making some noise, man. I heard they got a nice stadium. I gotta make it over. It's beautiful. It looks it's by USC. That I heard that it looks looks like the I heard like you can literally like if you sit like in the front row, like you're literally on the grass. 
It literally looks like a World Cup stadium.